Hi, I'm Yu Qingli, a rising junior student studying social science at NYU Shanghai, and this is my presentation from my DERF research project about social entrepreneurship and sustainable development in rural China through a case study at Banqiao village of Zunyi, China. I conducted this case study because I was really impressed by China's remarkable achievements of poverty reduction. China has reduced rural poor population from 775 million to only 42 million in the recent 30 years. However, rural poverty is still really persistent and pervasive in western and inland provinces in China. To achieve the goal of eradicating poverty by 2020, China adopts the targeted approach to alleviating poverty, especially through a poverty household registry policy and also establishing rural cooperatives for developing agricultural businesses. The shiny kiwi fruit rural cooperative located at Banqiao village in the city of Zunyi in one of the poorest provinces in Guizhou, China. Banqiao village was identified as a first-tier poor village in Guizhou. However, throughout the, um, the recent three years of developing the rural cooperative program, um, this village has risen from a really poor village to today's remarkable example of lifting itself out of poverty. And that's why I want to discover um, what's the reasons and contributing factors to its success. My case study objectives are identifying the key successes and challenges in the program of shiny kiwi fruit and also examine the effectiveness of alleviating poverty through developing social entrepreneurship programs. Um, finally, I want to understand the process and dynamics of eradicating poverty, um, promoting social development and promoting sustainable social development and eventually um, and also using the approach of social entrepreneurship. Um, before going to my case study, I um, want to provide this theoretical framework that I um, concluded through my literature review. Um, from a lot of um, entrepreneurial studies, social work studies, developmental studies, um, literatures that I've read, I concluded the following um, definition for social entrepreneurship and also um, using social entrepreneurship in China's specific context. Um, social entrepreneurship is generally regarded as those profit-making entrepreneurial activities but also driven by a um, primarily a social aim. It involved innovative activities that create value and make social, positive social impact. It's very context specific, um, but it also generates scalable models that can be more widely spread. Um, as for its application in China, social entrepreneurship often appears in the form of developing rural um, cooperatives by um, the local government or capable rural entrepreneurs to achieve the social aim of eradicating poverty or achieving common prosperity. Um, these rural cooperatives are often established in forms of um, commercial agricultural businesses. However, they are not only um, aiming for economic outcomes but also social outcomes. So then we can go to the case of Shiny Kiwi Fruit Rural Cooperative at Banqiao Village. Banqiao Village has a population of 2,803 people spread in about 700 households with um, about 
188 poor population in just a few years ago. And agriculture was, has been its prim, primary industry, especially growing corns. But corns can only generate really low economic profits for local villagers. The village was identified as Guizhou province's first tier poor village since 1998. The average annual income was less than 2,000 yuan each year. Um, commonly, the elderly families with a lot of children and the jobless are often those people who live in poverty. My case study was conducted um, through a specific case study method. I gained qualitative data from interview, site visit, and secondary research. I um, conducted a site visit in August during which I interviewed three participant villagers and three key informants of the Shiny Kiwi Fruit Program. My interview questions include questions about these people's family situation, the program's impact, and their experiences of participating in these programs. Here are some of the key observations that I've gained from my site visit and interviews. I identified the key stakeholders involving in Banqiao Village's social entrepreneurship program. And I also identified some of the key development stages um, when this program was established and developed. In early 2013, the program was at an exploratory stage because it was initiated by some capable rural entrepreneurs who started planting kiwi for trees with their private investments and when it was proved that kiwi fruit trees really grew well in the village they um, used the program to gain um, funding from the central government so then they could really started to build a rural cooperative in the village and engage more local villagers to help them um, lift themselves out of poverty. However, many rural poor were really not, had a lot of doubts and fears about this program. So then um, the leading rural entrepreneur, also um, a really successful entrepreneur, Li Jiabing, the current program of the current program director decided to bring these um, these poor villagers to successful examples in other villages who have planted kiwi fruit trees and grew well to see other people's successful examples and hope that can inspire other villagers at the village. Um, in the end, um, starting from 2014 to now, more and more villagers at Banqiao joined the program and it really reached its development stage. For now, Banqiao village has over 4,000 acres of kiwi fruit trees planted. Looking forward to um, greater economic profits that they can gain from the kiwi fruit business. Um, the shiny kiwi fruit rural cooperative is really special because its model doesn't just involve the planting and selling of kiwi fruit. It actually involves different industries ranging from kiwi fruit tree to egg chicken to vegetables because the village adjusts different measures to the different conditions in the village and also um, the villagers the individual households and villagers benefit from the collective economy 
because it really creates the skill of agricultural operations instead of uh, conducting the businesses with only the power of individual households. For now, the program has really achieved some great development outcomes. For example, it has reduced poor households from 188 to only 27, and the annual average income has risen from less than 2,000 to about 3,000 to 4,000 per year. Over 4,000 acres of kiwi for trees has been planted in the village, and it's estimated it will provide a profit of over 30,000 RMB per acre, which would be really remarkable. This is a photo exhibition of the scaled model of Banqiao Village's agricultural business landscape, um, which I took I took the photo in the village committee office showing the wide scale of Banqiao's agricultural business and its diversity. This is the photo exhibition of Banqiao's egg chicken business alongside its major kiwi fruit um, industry. This is a photo of the Shiny Kiwi Fruit Rural Cooperative Office um, right next to Banqiao's Village Committee Office. This is an ex photo exhibition of one collectively owned kiwi fruit plants. As we can see, these kiwi fruit plants um, often are often equipped with really well-built trellies steel wheels and facilities for growing kiwi fruits. Here I want to give you a profile of one specific villager that I interviewed during my site visit. Villager A has um, four family members, originally all worked as migrant workers, but um, villager A joined one visit to villages to village with a really successful example of growing kiwi fruit and then village villager A decided to join the kiwi fruit businesses at Banqiao. In 2016, the first harvest generated enough profit that counteracted the cost and in this year the profit reaches about a hundred thousand Chinese yuan. Here is a quote from Villager A that compares um, growing kiwi fruit from his previous economic activities of only growing corns, which cannot generate much economic profit from him. Here are two photos of the actual plant that I saw in in Villager A's field. Although Villager A has met with the following difficulties, for example, he has um, lack of knowledge um, or management skills, um, but in the end, in general, he's very satisfied with the so far outcome of the profits and he's also really positive of the future prospect of growing kiwi fruit in the village. Here are some of the key findings that I found through my case study and literature review. I've discovered that um, the following fall factors are really key contributing factors to the program's success. Banqiao Village really identified the industries with higher economic profits and also suitable for Banqiao's specific condition. Um, they specifically chose a special kiwi fruits with red seeds, which are which is sweeter and can also sell at a greater price. 
and also um, Ban Chao's local condition is also very suitable for growing kiwi fruit. And the second contributing factor is that the rural cooperative really connect the farmers to markets. For example, um, the village committee and the rural cooperative rented to vans that transport villagers to neighboring towns to sell their vegetables and fruit so that the local villagers can earn at least 100 RMB per day from just selling those vegetables or fruits. And the third factor is um, I conclude as a role model effect. These poor villagers really learned both from successful leading rural entrepreneurs and also the successful cases in other villages. The fourth reason that I concluded is the scale of collective agricultural operation. Because of the scale, they can really lower down the cost of growing kiwi fruit and also sell kiwi fruit at a scale through a collective channel for greater profits. Um, as for some of the challenges or deficiencies in the program, villagers' lack of training and knowledge would definitely be the first um, challenges for them. And also, some, some villagers also has fear and doubts um, of whether they can sell kiwi fruit for a good price. As for um, some other sustainable development outcomes at Bantel Village, um, community development would definitely be one. Other than just generating economic benefits, creating the rural cooperative also lead to other developmental outcomes, such as improvements in infrastructure, services, um, and also holding regular village meeting to improve communication and also sustainability. The village also involves other entrepreneurial initiatives for poverty alleviation, as I've mentioned before. Um, besides selling kiwi fruits, villagers also um, develop industries of selling eggs and selling vegetables, which they generate substantial economic income from. Um, this is a photo exhibition of the program board in the village committee's office, showcasing a lot of the social development programs at the village, ranging from road construction to house renovation, um, and also building facilities for their local industries. This is a photo of the roads and houses at Bantel Village. Um, so at this stage, here is my primary conclusion that I've gotten from this case study. I concluded that social entrepreneurship can really be an effective poverty alleviation approach looking from shiny kiwi fruits case. Because for one, small agricultural business developed by capable rural entrepreneurs and village committee for eradicating poverty and achieving common prosperity really works in the case of Ban Chao because it generated substantial economic growth along with the overall sustainable social development outcomes. And also, I identify three specialities of adopting social entrepreneurship as a poverty alleviation approach in China. One is that um, this approach really targeting on specific poor individuals or households, so then uh, it identifies the really personalized needs. Secondly, it integrates 
both economic and social development goals. Thirdly, it linked multiple stakeholders ranging from um, villagers, rural entrepreneurs, village committees, and central governments together to create scalable impact. As for future outlook and policy implications, I think the first one would be um, how to further develop human capital of the rural villagers who just got out of poverty, especially to provide more professional training about agricultural businesses for those participant villagers. And also, I think more studies can be done on the internal elements in poverty alleviation. And when I said internal elements, I meant um, the internal stakeholders like villagers and rural entrepreneurs who, can, who really are significant in the process of lifting themselves out of poverty. Um, in the end, I want to talk about some of the limitations and directions for further research um, with regard to my case study. Because of the time limitation, the case study was conducted with this relatively small sample size and it was really context specific with regard to the case in Batchel village. And also because of the kiwi fruit has a three years waiting time before its full fruiting period. The overall economic outcome of all the kiwi fruit plants hasn't shown for now. As for further research, I think I, more quantitative data is needed for analyzing the, the, the more accurate um, input and outcome. And also, I think it would be really interesting to compare the case at Batchel Village with some other initiatives, um, some other social entrepreneurship initiatives led either by individuals or by NGOs, development organizations, or philanthropic organizations um, for alleviating poverty. And I also think um, it would be really significant that we should analyze more the role of capable rural entrepreneurs in leading such poverty alleviation efforts. Because from the case that I've examined, I found um, the program director, Li Jiabing, has a really um, strong leadership, um, leadership role in leading and inspiring other poor villagers in the village to join and really put efforts into lifting themselves out of poverty for more sustainable human, social, and economic development. So um, this is my presentation for my DERF research project. And the last page is the works that I've cited for this research. Thank you.